Lasun is leader in lighting and electrical test instruments. Hello everyone, this is Daisy. Let me introduce to you the installation and use of the ZRS3H Glowwire test apparatus. The following is the video catalog. 1. Packing list. 2. Installation and operation. 3. Maintenance. Please check the packing list when you receive the shipment. The glow wire test chamber and all accessories are packed in one wooden box. Please take out the equipment and all accessories. This is the glow wire tester chamber. Open the accessory box. Here are all the accessories. Spare fuse, weights, metal mesh, power cord, residue collector, silk paper, exhaust pipe, gauge, remote control. There is also a plastic bag in the package that contains a CD, calibrate certificates, and guarantee cards. There are user manual, operation video, and related standards in the CD. Open the door of the chamber. To avoid damage of equipment in transit, we use cable ties to fix the internal sample car and other parts. Please remove the cable ties. Pass the thin wire of the weights through the notch of the sample car. And hang on the two fixed pulleys. If you need to test a small sample, you can fix the metal mesh here and fix the sample on the metal mesh. The exhaust pipe needs to be installed on the back of the chamber. Put the other end of the pipe outside to exhaust the smoke generated during the test. Install and fix the sample on the sample car as shown in the figure. Adjust this screw so that the movable range of the sample car is at least 7 mm. This is the limiter for the sample car. The limiter can be moved left and right to control the end position of the sample. You can move it to a safe position on the right. Connect the power cord to the 220 volts 50 Hz power supply. Turn on the switch. Press the green button to turn on the device. Click the touch screen to enter working interface. There is also a remote control. The four buttons on the remote control have same functions with the four buttons A, B, C, and D on the touch screen. This is a lighting switch, click to turn on the light in the chamber. This is the switch for the exhaust fan. Click left run. Then the sample car starts to drive to the left to the limiter position. The sample car stops and the limiter indicator light on. The correct position that the sample car needs to stop should be that the glow wire touches the sample, and the glow wire pushes the sample car 7 mm backward. It is necessary to fine tune the position of the limiter to make the sample car stop at the correct position. Click reset. Repeat this operation until the sample car can stop at the correct position. Click reset after the adjustment. Please note that if you test different samples later, you need to confirm whether the limiter of the sample car needs to be readjusted. Place the silk paper on the residue collector. Place the residue collector under the glow wire. Close the door of the chamber. Click to enter parameter set interface. Set glow wire time, ignition time and flame out time according to the standard. Generally they are 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and 60 seconds. After setting, return to working interface and click heat. Turn the current adjustment button clockwise. We have a temperature and current table for your reference. But to extend the service time of the equipment, you need to adjust the current slowly. However, depending on the different ambient temperature and glow wire status, the required current may need to be fine-tuned. The real-time temperature of the glow wire can be seen on the screen. After the glow wire temperature reaches the standard value and the temperature is stable, click left run to start the test.
After 30 seconds, the sample car will be evacuated automatically. Click TE pause to record the flame out time when the flame on the sample goes out. If there is no fire, you do not need to click these two buttons. The ignition time and flame out time will finish automatically. The heat button will automatically pop up after the test. The glow wire will stop heating, and the temperature will automatically drop. Turn on the fan to exhaust the smoke in the chamber. If you don't need to do more test, please turn the current button back to zero. And turn off the equipment. Lasun also has an economical glow wire apparatus. The model is ZRS3HS. The function and operation are exactly the same, but there is no chamber or exhaust fan function. The following are some maintenance that needs to be done during the use of glow wire apparatus. The glow wire is heated by high current to gain a high temperature. If the power supply voltage of the equipment is unstable, the heating current will also be unstable. Then the temperature of the glow wire will be unstable. Therefore, it is better to use a regulated power supply to power the equipment. Please just set the test time according to the standard. Do not keep the glow wire at a high temperature for a very long time, as this will shorten the life of the glow wire and thermocouple. It needs to be cleaned if there is attachment on the glow wire after the test. The glow wire can be heated to a high temperature and then carefully cleaned with a steel wire brush. Do not use too much force when cleaning and do not touch the thermocouple. Thanks for watching.